Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. Vlog? No, 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 another haul, sorry. Um, this is a Goodwill bins haul and we're in a little bit of a situation because I went to the Rose Bowl and I bought all this stuff before the Rose Bowl. I went to the bins the Friday before and then I took it to the Rose Bowl and I didn't film a video beforehand. So I'm definitely missing some items don't know where they are. I looked for them, can't find them. They must be inside other bags, but we have what we have and we'll show you that. So let's get started. We have almost an Ikea bag full and then a Marshalls bag full. So let's get started with some sweaters. We have this patchwork, again with these like grandpa style sweaters, knit, and then it has like different patterns, which I really like. And I like this, this like color scheme. They're not like very bright or anything. And then, and then, and then, where am I putting this as we finish? They're just gonna go on my lap for now. And then we have this one. This one's on a size small. I honestly got it because it's actually super soft. It even looks soft, but it's just simple gray and then with a V-neck, nothing too spectacular. I hope that none of this is repeating. If it is repeating, I'm sorry. Just ignore me when I say that. Um, because looking at this, I feel like I got this last Thursday and I did a haul on all that stuff or like the Thursday before then. So some of this is probably repeating and I'm so sorry, but again, we deal with what we have. Then another grandpa style sweater. This one, these look like stars to me, like those old like Christmas stars. Same color scheme as the other one. Then we have, oh, there was a bunch of like, like lingerie or like sleeping, like silky pieces last time I went. So this is one of those pieces. This one's actually just from Forever 21, which is very cute for being Forever 21. I think it's supposed to be a sleeping gown, but it's completely see-through like everywhere. So you wear it as you want. Then I found these ones. This is a Fashion Nova skirt. I was hoping that I would find a top for this because like, like they usually do sets, but I couldn't. So sadly, we only have one piece. This one I'm pretty sure is does not belong in this haul, but it's a Shein dress. I bought it to see if it would fit me. Like, it's a cute dress regardless, and at the bins, like, why not? But um, it's too short for moi. Then I was on a velvet kick. So this one doesn't actually have a name. Where's the top? This one doesn't have a name, but it's a long sleeve velvet top. It's giving me very Halloween vibes, fall vibes even. And then it has, like, just, like, the simple little, like, it's like ruched up right there. This one does not have a size or anything, so I'm gonna have to take measurements. And then it like cinches in right there. This one, I don't know what this pattern is, but it's very squared off, just a short sleeve button up. And then this one I thought was super cute. A lot of people looked at it at the Rose Bowl, but no one bought it, sadly. Um, but it is a crop top, but it's all like this mesh but it's completely like meshed out and then it has flowers, but gladly like it does have like a bandeau attached to it at the bottom and then the bandeau zips, but it's all open in the back and then the sleeves are just like the little shoulder sleeves. This one, realistically, I don't know why I got it, but I did. I was like, well, if they sold it, you know, it must, someone must want it. And like, I found a couple comps on Poshmark for it, but it's a misguided and Carly. I don't know. I don't know who this person is. Sorry, people. But it's a collaboration. It's new with tag and uh, they're, they're biker shorts. They are biker shorts, but they are completely see-through and sequence. I thought it was absolutely freaking hilarious. Like. I really wanted to know 
I took these to Rose Bowl hoping someone would buy them just for me to ask them like, hey, how the hell are you going to style those? Uh, but I Googled it and I'll post the picture here if I can find the same photo. But it's not for my taste of clothing. We can say that very easily. And then this one is actually a set. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if I should put this together like post it together as a set or separately. I can't see it going together. I think it's too much, but it's just the set. I love the patterns. I love the color. It's a maxi skirt. And then at the bottom, it just kind of like comes out. This one's a size 18. And then the top is a button up top. But I cannot, I can't see it going together. This is very sheer too. This one has a lining in it, I believe. Yeah, this one's lined with like uh, black fabric. This one doesn't have any lining, so it is sheer. But I see this one more with like, you know, black jeans and booties and like the skirt with like a little crop top or something. But that's just me. So let me know down in the comments if I should put them together or just list them separately. I, I still don't know. This one was definitely... Again, has nothing to do with the brand and everything. Why is it dirty? Oh my God, my dog. Okay, well this one needs to be washed, but I loved the, it's not even a pattern on it, but it's, I guess it is the pattern, but like holy, it's very holy everywhere. And the color was, pretty too. It reminds me of like a Dodger, Dodger blue color. Okay, these ones, these ones. These ones are all little tank tops, little itty bitty tank tops. So again with the velvet, this one's just gonna go out Macari. Most of these are just gonna go out Macari. Then they have this one from Shein. I wanted to wear this one myself, but it was a uh, too short, too crop toppy. We found an out from under Right, that's what it's called, Out From Under, the Urban Outfitters. Yeah, Out From Under bralette. I really like these bralettes. They remind me of the Free People bralettes completely. Super cute. A basic brown one. I really do like the neutral trend going on. This one doesn't have any sizing whatsoever, but I thought it was super cute. And again, at the bins. And it's just ruffled and lace, not ruffled, it's just lace. Has the buttons, so the buttons actually how you put it on. There's no sizing. It literally says small, medium, and large on here. So I measured that one already. And then we have a couple more before we get to the other bag. So we have this, I believe it's Shein. I just thought it was so pretty. And then this one's from Forever 21. This one's gonna have to be a flat lay because this is not gonna show correctly, but I loved the deep V and just like the style of it. And it's very stretchy. And this one, I thought it was just cute, a simple striped tank top, nothing over the top. Let's go on to the next bag, hold on. Okay, so for the next bag, I'm pretty sure these were two separate Goodwill bin strips. Um, I hope these are not all the same. Not you. Let's, let's see the receipt. Oh, these are two separate Goodwill bins. Okay. I was wrong. You don't belong there either. And you? I don't know anymore. Okay, let's just get started. So the first item I have is a kid's item. It's from Lee, it's just an overalls. I sell kid's items a good amount on Macari, just for nice and cheap. And then I'm like picking and choosing. This is a Lululemon, where is it? There you go, Lululemon top. I feel like I did a haul on this already. This was all of my to be hauled stuff. Then we have Hollister jeans. These are the mom style jeans. American Eagle jeans. Then we have BDG. I pick up a lot of these actually. 
jeans. These ones are, what style are these? These are the slim straight jeans. And then lastly, we have current and Elliot jeans. These ones are the, where are you? I know you put the style name on them, sir. Or you don't, you, or you don't, I'm just going crazy. And then we have this, I think it's called Crayon Champagne and Strawberry. It was beautiful. It's such a pretty top. I personally love it. Like all the details everywhere, down to the collar or down to the collar, down to the arm cuff, to even like the buttons, like it's absolutely gorgeous. My last two items. These are definitely my favorite items. We've got a Mary Stitchmas sweater. And the best part of all is that it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It lights up. Oh my god, you can't you can't see it. Can you see it? Did the battery just die? Oh my god, I'll cry. Oh no, it just goes off and on. It's Mary Stitchmas. So that was definitely one of my favorite brands. I wasn't gonna grab, grab it, but again, at the booms. And then this one, my love, it's a poncho. I didn't know they had ponchos, but it's from Barefoot Dreams. Barefoot Dreams is a reason why I do not wear gloves at the bins. I'm just gonna say it. It's kind of gross, it's kind of weird, but wearing gloves is just not something I do at the bins because I touched this and I was like, this is Barefoot Dreams. It feels like butter and it's just this brown color. You can tell that it was at Goodwill already because it has the Goodwill tag. But I'm surprised it didn't sell. When did you put it up there? 9.15. So it didn't last at Goodwill very long. But it's super cute. And these ones are one size fits all. That's everything I got at two trips of Goodwill. Anyways, before this video gets way too long, thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you guys in my next video. If you have not already, hit that red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.